Matt, you talked about improvement, and a lot of Arkansas fans sometimes don't want to hear it because they're losing, but this team has continued to get better, and they're on the right track right now under Chad Morris. Yeah, if you look at the Alabama game, it, look, the result was what it was, but they could have rolled over. They could have laid down that game. I think it was 21 nothing or 17 nothing really early in the game, maybe 21 nothing. but they, they found a way to fight back. And typically when you get a new head coach, first month of the season, it's a feeling out process for not only fan to team, but team to coach and coach to team. And I think the second half of the season, you're gonna start seeing Arkansas develop the personality of Chad Morris and start to get an idea of where this program is headed. But improvement in year one is all you could ask for, and then you could start building the foundation for where you want the program to go. The strength right now of this team or an area that you really like when you watch them on tape, what stands out? Defensively, they, they're showing more fight. And you've got to show fight. You've got to understand that if, if, if Alabama jumps out to an early lead like they did, that you could easily just go away and find a way to make things go badly. But the defense has, has started to show a little bit of fight. But offensively, too, this is an offensive head coach. you got to score points. And so when they start grasping it and just giving fourth quarter effort, um, it's when you really get the idea that, okay, things are starting to work. Watch teams. Watch teams in the fourth quarter and you know who's playing for their coach and who's not. And I think ultimately here for the back half of the season, especially starting last week with Alabama, play into the fourth quarter, you're going to see this team's effort keep going up. A tough stretch finally kind of yeah. over. They've got Ole Miss, Tulsa, Vandy. Some of us have been talking this could be easily three wins heading into a bye week, and Arkansas can kind of maybe change the script a little bit on their season. Well, you need, you need the Ole Miss win. You need the Ole Miss win because you want to get a conference win under your belt. And I think doing that, in the state would be big for people to like, okay, we beat Ole Miss, who was just one of the best teams in the league about three, four years ago. So if you get that win, one win can propel you to a bunch of stuff. Then you start feeling good about themselves. Then you got the close game with Tulsa, that's always a big game. Then you can get another win with Vanderbilt. You get one, you'd be surprised what that does for two and three. So I think closing season strong is what gives fan bases hope. If you're close strong, if you're competitive, if you get get the game of the fourth quarter, I think people will be energized about going into the offseason. I'd love to get your your thoughts on just the landscape of the SEC with all the coaching turnover and really what Mark Stoops is able to do right now with Jimbo Fisher coming in and you've got Dan Mullen moving. Just how you think the landscape of the SEC is shaping up for the future? It was an odd offseason. I think six head coaching changes was the number. You had one guy stay in the conference and Mullen went to Florida, but you had so much turnover in the league. You had an interim and Matt Luke take over at Ole Miss. But the turnover to me sometimes is unhealthy because we're expecting win after win after win and sometimes that's not the best way to kind of build your program but the state of the sec is alabama and everybody else that's just the way that it is and until somebody can beat alabama like auburn did last year and go to the sec championship until we can see someone in the sec and nationally beat alabama it's always going to be about alabama having said that it brings a lot of good attention to the conference you said it a second ago, Kentucky was kind of the darling of the season to start the season. Jimbo Fisher's got a good thing going at Texas A&M. And so as long as teams are competing and winning and Alabama's always going to be in the playoff conversation, all of our eyes are always going to be turned to the SEC. Arkansas is playing in Little Rock this week. It's yeah. become kind of controversial. What do you think about a, a team having two home stadiums? You know, I, I'm always big and I've I've always been big on teams playing where they're from. I know TCU earlier in the season, they had technically a home game against Ohio State, but they played it at AT&T Stadium where the Cowboys play, when that game should have been at their, at their stadium in Fort Worth. And so I understand why teams do it. I understand why programs do it. But I also understand there's only six, seven home games a year. And make them about your fan base with where the school's from. Sometimes I like neutral site games to start the season, but ultimately if you've got a good home atmosphere and you've got a good hometown and a good campus, always keep the game on campus.